Hello there. Welcome to a new video. In this video, we're back at Mung Noi Market, my local market. And yesterday, or in the last video actually, I taught you how to order some food at the market. We went over the verb ao. So if you want to order food, ao. And then what you want, and the last word, na, to be polite or de, to be polite. So remember it was ao, la bet, tong nung na, ao, pat ka pao. So everybody likes their ka pao, right? Ao pat ka pao, sib ha pan de. So you want 15,000. Today we're gonna use ao to get some fruit. But first, I think I got ahead of myself. I haven't even introduced so many things to you guys. So let's learn some vocabulary. And then, you know, you'll be able to actually order some fruit at the market, which is definitely something you're gonna wanna try while you're in Laos. All right, let's go. He's got the king of fruits, durian here, and rambutan. Hello, ladies. go straight to the fruit because first I want to show you guys this fried chicken you're gonna tell me you can't eat fried chicken that is good stuff right there everybody's everybody loves some fried chicken and a lot of people know how to make some fried chicken the tragic part of it though is they give you a shit sauce with it like everything else you get a delicious salsa with it or sauce and yet, with fried chicken, well, what are we doing here? So, we're gonna solve that too here in this video. I'm gonna show you guys. If we can get through here. Let's go this way. So what I'm gonna do in these videos, I usually translate, but I'm gonna try to, uh, yeah, talk to you as if, uh, as if you were, me in a sense, or as if you were my brother. You all are my family out there, learning Lao. So I'm gonna talk to you as if you're as crazy as I am when it comes to learning a language and I'll translate things for you. And then you can enjoy more of what we're doing because you'll understand more. All right, we made it to our fruits. So. Today we're going to learn fruit in Lao. I actually went online today to see like what teaching Lao lessons were online. Like, like there's nothing been posted for years. So I'm excited to do this. And in the future, yeah, we'll be able to do more like fancy stuff so that you can, it'll be easy for you to learn like all the, putting all the like boxes with the words and subtitles and all that, but for now, it's gonna be very simple. So take notes. That's how I learn. People, I ask people what it is, and then, uh, you know, I wrote things down. So, first thing you need to know if you don't know what something is called. If you remember, <laughs> she's asking me what I want. Aonyang. Okay. Remember the classifiers from yesterday? An for a general classifier, or Nui for fruit. So if you don't know what something is, you're gonna call it an, right? Because you don't know. It's a general classifier. So this one, ani. So this ani, manyang, manyang, ani manyang. What is this? What is this? Sweet. Now, so now that you know what this, I'll tell you what this is. Ani manyang, ani man mag, mangkon. Mag, mangkon, mag, mangkon. All fruit is going to have the word mag in it. So fruit, and then what it is? Mag. Ani mag nyang, chao. See? Ani mag nyang. What fruit is this? Ani mag nyang. Ani. You remember that already? Ani. This one. One this. <laughs> Mag fruit, young what? But what fruit is this one? What fruit is this one? 
Any Magnan. Who you bought? I buy this one all the time. Do you know what this one is, guys? I showed you. Max Ali. This is an Asian pear. I love it. It's crispy, fresh, juicy, like an apple, but a tropical flavor. So I love apples. I eat apples all the time back home, every day. But here, I eat the Asian pear. We got our watermelon. Guys, you know what watermelon are, are called in Lao? Bakmo. Bakmo. Ah. Did you notice the difference? Aha. There are two words used in Lao to call fruit. The written form is mag, mag. So this would be mag, mangkon, magtang. So uh, melon, this is a melon. Mangsali, Asian pear. Or the more common way for people to call fruit here in Lao actually is bak. Bak. So it would be baksali, bakteng, bakmangkon. Now let's come up here to our pineapples because you never had a pineapple like here in Laos. Pineapple, baknat, baknat, magnat. Remember, we have two options for this word. But you're going to hear people say buck all the time, you're gonna see it written mag. Right? We got our special one we need for papaya salad. Maghung papaya. Maghung maghung mango. Two different kinds. I can't remember what this one is. Oh no, she told me yesterday this is kill soy. This is a uh, one type of mango. It's also going to be uh, ripe and yellow on the inside and delicious. It's a little bit different flavor, sweetness, uh, yeah, fragrance. They're a little different. Uh, both of them, bagmong or magmong. Magkiang. Magkiang. Orange. Magmong. One of my absolute favorite tropical fruits of all time. I'm gonna put on my bag here. I'm sweating bullets. I don't know why. I'm sweating like crazy today. Uh, Bagma, Magma, Rambutan. So good. On the inside, I can eat a kilo of these. We're gonna get some and I'll show you at home. Magnam Nyai, Magnam Nyai, Bagnam Nyai. And then we have apples, which are just called bagapun. Bagapun. <laughs> Some places they call them bagpom. Yeah. Bagpom. Then we have more apples and you see this one? Mangosteen. Mm, very good. Be careful though. Stain your clothes. Very purple. Stain your clothes. So you gotta be careful opening it up. Uh, what, what, what? This is one we call Magmangkut. Bagmangkut. I think we got everything. Oh, Bagtulian. Bagtulian. We don't have anything uh, really too exotic that isn't typically here at the market. So, uh, right now it is May and mangoes are in season. They are quite cheap. They're like a dollar. 75 for two and a half 2.2 pounds a kilo oranges are in season as well so they're about a dollar for a kilo and what else no not is but but not is also in season it's pretty cheap right now honestly the sad part here is I don't like to compare things but fruit it tends to be cheaper in Thailand and somebody if you know that you're a Lao person here in Lao, obviously would have, uh, in order to know, let me know why, why that is. I talked to farmers out in the countryside and they told me that there just isn't a fruit market. You know, like when they grow rice or they grow sugar cane, 
there's a market for the farmers to sell it. And they, they were telling me along the lines that if they were to grow oranges or some of these other fruits, uh, that there isn't a market for them to sell it. So I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I was told. And I found it interesting because you don't really see any orchards out here in, in Laos. You see lots of sugarcane fields. You see loads of rice fields. Uh, what do you call it? Mansapalang. I don't know what that's called in English. I forgot. It's like a potato type of thing. Uh, but yeah, so maybe there isn't much of a market for people to grow. But it should grow. I mean, everybody's still buying fruit. So they're obviously you're, you're spending more money if we're importing everything. But that's another topic. Oh, we have some Bagangun, uh, Bagangun, but there's another name for it. Ani Undai Song Yang, no? Bagangun Kap Malaseng. Malaseng, that's what the other word is for it. So on Kontang Sad, Pasalao. So on Magmai, Muni. So on Pasal, Magmai, Muni. เป็น YouTube YouTuber ซื้อซื้อเจ้าก็ซ้อนซ้อนตามบริษัทกันเจ้าซ้อนตามบ้านมานี่กินอย่างดีเนาะมือมินี่ยูยูเฮิร์นกับมีบักซาลีแล้ว
Mình sẽ hẹp hẹp phải dẫn Dẫn đây xí cá Hà Xuân Hà đây vô Hà Xuân Hà Đây 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 Hậu hậu I was saying there were this super delicious. You don't even have to put on the sauce, the salsa or the sauce. Uh, because whatever they, the batter that they've made and fried it in. Come on, son. Alright, we're getting money out here to pay this lady. So I got... <laughs> I got four. I usually only get two, but man, they're so flipping good. You know, they have great fried chicken. They've got great fried chicken in Thailand. But here... The fried chicken is good, but it's more like the one I just showed you in there. It's white, breaded. It's a little bit more plain, uh, just salty flavor. It's good, but you need a salsa, and then they only give you the flipping. Come on, are you gonna give me ketchup? For my fried chicken? Get out of here. Get out of here. So, we, this, they, these guys, hey, let's make sure we got the sign, because that's the whole point. Right? So you see up there, for those learning Lao, Gai Thot. Chicken fried. Gai Thot. And Luke Sin, those meatballs, I don't see any meatballs. Su Hat Nyai. So this is literally southern fried chicken, guys. Su. This is Su is, Su is a recipe. Hat Nyai is a city in southern Thailand. So I'm assuming it's like Malaysian style or something because it's banging. Highly recommend it. They got everything. They got, they got the nong nong kai, which is uh, legs. They got kong kai, so they got rib chicken ribs. Look at that. Then they got wings, and they got feet. In kai, everything. Yo, bo kachao hai ma suai. I'm super excited for this. I'm gonna do some fruit and some food at home for you guys today because we didn't do that with the last time so I bought stuff. So I'll let you I'll let you see me take a couple sloppy bites and then we'll call it good. <laughs> Let's get some food. I got four chicken wings, not chicken wings, chicken thighs. And now are you? I love this food. Uh, what do we want today? Want to go? Today, I'm gonna get, I think, some fish with the spicy sauce just poured on top of it. Man. This is it right here. It's going to be good eating tonight, yo. Don't need it. Been to say, have you? Take the big one. Wow, I look at that. Look at all the sauce. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Online. <laughs> You guys hear that? How much how much do I owe her for those learning? Si sip han 
ขอบใจเด้อนนอนชุบมือมา Every day I will be here for sure because they got the goods, yo. They got the goods. They do it right. So <laughs> successfully got my hands full again. Did we want? Nah. Let's just say, should we get a should we get a smoothie? I'm already gonna show you some fruit. We're back with the food. Mmm. Goodness gracious. I never bought any fried chicken here until I found this place. Mm. Now, in case you don't know how to open one of these when you're here, that's why we're doing this video. The rest are self-explanatory, come on. Oh, where'd my mango go? Oh, I think I put it in the fridge. But mango, yeah, you just slice off the peel and then slice it up and eat it. Same, this one, I just wash it and then take a bite or you cut it up like an apple. The consistency is like an apple. Crispy, juicy, tropical, incredible. Always doubt after dinner. Now, for the rambutan. Need both hands for this one. So, let's see if I can see this camera up real quick. Need both hands. So how I open rambutan is get a fingernail of my thumb, try to get it in there so it pops through the, the peel, the skin. And then get both fingers in there and just separate it apart. Boom, like that. No, I almost ate it without showing you. The inside's this white, there's a pit inside, and it's like a big tropical grape. It's one of my favorites. See that pit inside? I'm just eat around it. Super juicy. I right, so yeah. Similar consistency, texture like a grape, but very tropical flavor. Mmm. Yes, sir. Thanks for joining me, guys. We'll see you in the next video. <laughs> wow, I enjoy all this food. Come join me.